Okay. It's crazy that the video cut off, though. That was crazy. It says, and you know what's so crazy? The video cut off, and I tried to record it again, and it didn't. And I had to clear all the stories. Like, I had to delete a lot of things. And what do we literally just say about that? See, that's God right there. I'm telling you, God, come on now. And it says, and he said, you shall have it. My, I don't know where I ended off, but whatever. We in John 15, 8, okay? My father's glory is shown by you bearing much fruit. And in this way, you become my disciples. I love you just as the father loves me. Remain in my love. And what did I tell you about that pink yesterday? That femini femininity energy of being receiving. And you have to be open and receptive to the information that's going on right now. Because you need to be on a more spiritual thing. God is within you. Okay? God is within you. Okay, hold on. If you obey my commands, you will remain in love, just as I have obeyed my father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Yesterday, we got the whole thing, a series of events. Here we go. My commandment is love one another just as I love you. The greatest love you can have for your friends is to give your life for them. And you are my friends. If you do what I command you, I do not call you servants any longer because certain. And what did I say about the sacrifice and the grief? What did I say about that? It, it was all on the floor. It was no more hard times. Okay, here we go. Because servants do not know what their master is doing. Instead, I call you friends because I have told you everything I had heard from my father. See, that's why I told y'all. I know I'm up there. I know I'm up there. But I don't need to look down on people. That's my point. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we cool. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But I'm just saying, just don't, don't come over here fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't do that because I ain't over here fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's like now it's to the time of where when y'all are learning from these healers and y'all are really paying attention to who these people are. I told y'all y'all need to treat them like human beings. I don't care how high up there I still get. I'm still that bitch. I'm still going to be, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I treat people like people, but I'm not really like friendly type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to laugh. I like to joke, but you know what I'm saying? Like, watch yourself. You know, I don't play those type of fucking games. You know, this is this is business. This is love. I told y'all my business is out of love. So don't play with me. You know what I mean? And that's what God be really trying to say when it comes to y'all. Like, y'all have to learn that people are, how can I look at it? Like, just, and I, and I, that's why I had this, I have this very, I have a very strong godly complex. You know what I'm saying? I really do. You know, that's why I don't see celebrities as being higher up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Am, am I am I excited to meet them because I admire their work? Yes. But do I need to like fangirl? No, I don't believe in shit like that. That's weird because you need to be able to respect their space, respect them as people. They're still people. That's why I don't care how big I get. You, you, it's, you're not going to disrespect me. I don't play those type of games. I don't play those type of games. And I don't have to acknowledge your ignorance because that doesn't help me bear more fruit. You know? All right, here we go. I call you my, yeah, okay. You did not choose me. I choose you and appointed you to go and bear much fruit, the kind of fruit that endures, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask of him in my name. Thank you for confirmation. Thank you for confirmation. And it's the Mars, the Mars. It's something about Mars just came up, Okay. Um, the world's hatred. If the world hates you, God of war, <laughs> if the world hates you, just remember that it has hated me first. If you belong to the world, then this world would love you as its own. But I choose you from this world and you do not belong to it. That is why the world hates you. That is why the world hates you. Aries energy, you're the baby of the angel. And when you start to learn how to heal that part to become a child of God, okay, or a child of who you believe in, and surrender. As an adult, are you not flowing? Why are you stressed? Why are you stressed? Why are you stressed? I feel like you're just not utilizing your energy in ways that's more beneficial for you. You're stressed about a shortage of formula, but I'm seeing bitches making formula out of anything. You know, people are telling me they stressed about rent and stuff, but I'm seeing people get this. And I'm not saying the system is not wrong because this is shining a light of where the system is wrong. So now they ha you're going to have to give them resources because now people, people are, are starting to add, things aren't adding up. 
We need to get down to the nitty gritties because there are resources. We're not going to act like there's not. And that's why this is serious. You have rights. You this you this is your birthright. Abundance is your birthright. That's why we keep talking about what birthright is. Humanitarians is 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 it's the civil rights. It's your rights. Your right, the, the biggest right right now is your birthright. Birthright from child. Something you inherited. Something you inherited. You know, somebody comment on my video today, and I felt so I was so it made my heart glow. The person said, I want to thank you for your videos. You are helping me learn knowledge. I said, oh my God, you are welcome. You are welcome. Knowledge, knowledge is power. Knowledge, you, once that you, well, I'm telling you now, I always told people the things I teach people are going to change you to have a very powerful mindset. That's why I, I, I've done it. I've done the whole equation. I've gone through the whole life magician course, my damn self. I've done it. Okay. I've done it. I've done it. I decided to invest in myself. That was the biggest investment that I could have made because investing in myself allowed me to invest in a career. I told you, you know, I told y'all the other day, the most dangerous thing you can do with me is allow me to think too much. You give me time to think something doesn't add up right. I started, when I started taking time off or whatever, and this was right about the time that I was, I had take, I had took off, um, from my job after I was having all these mental conflicts that it was time for me to leave the job. Yeah, I was, and I it, it, I had to sit down because I, I I had time to think. Oh boy, did I have time to think! And the more I had time to think, the more I kept saying something's not adding up here. The money don't add up. My my emotions don't add up. My body's not adding up. I don't feel right. I don't feel right. And I don't care what has been going on. I'm telling you, everything I did was off a strategic mindset. You got to be. You got to stand 10 toes down by yourself to leave a job with no money. And you don't got no product. You don't do no nothing. You gonna you got to stand on your word. Baby, I'm, that's why I said, I'm, I don't, and it, and, it, and it used to trip my ego out because I knew people wanted me to fail because why, it's like, why her? I don't know. Ask God. <laughs> I don't know. Ask God, baby. <laughs> I told you, I'm just that bitch. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do. You know, you need to do what you're supposed to do. Remember I told y'all in the first video about Money Bad Yo understood and Daily Glitter. I don't know the first video I just did. Money Bad Yo, he understood the assignment. He understood the assignment. This is a time where you need to understand your assignment. And and a lot of y'all have to understand the assignment has to go through the struggle. The struggle you cannot you cannot get out of the struggle. Okay? You can't get out of the struggle if you haven't mentally got out the struggle. Yeah. See, I know y'all want to live in abundance and freedom, but you have to accept the struggle. This is the darkness. It there's no ain't no way around it. A bitch gonna be a bitch. A hoe gonna be a hoe. A killer gonna be a killer. That's all you need to know. Ain't no way around it. Ain't no way around it. It's and there's no way around it. And the way I told y'all that y'all, the ways that y'all have taken around it, that y'all try to take the easy way out, that's why it's, you have to sit in this lesson. Saturn retrograde is it's having y'all sit in a lesson, but it's a lesson of tough love from God. Mm hmm. If you belong to the world, yeah, but I choose you from this world and you do not, do not belong to it. That is why the world hates you. Remember what I told you. Slaves are not greater than their master. If people persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they obey my teaching, they will obey yours too. But they will do all this to you because you are mine. For they do not know the one who sent me. They would not they would not have been guilty of sin if I had not come and spoken to them. As it is, they no longer have any excuse for their sin. How, whoever hates me hates my father also. They would not be guilty of sin if I had not done among them the things that no one else ever did. As it is, they have seen what I did and they they hate both me and my father. How you hate Jesus for what Jesus did? That means you hate God too. I, you know, that's one of the things I always used to say, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You, you got beef with me. That means you beefing with God. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough, baby. You beefing with me? That means you beefing with God. You don't like me? That means you don't like God. I don't be worried. People know I don't be worried about nobody. I don't bother people. I'm not that type of bitch, you know? 
it's it's just in a sense of you, you just you wanted to be accepted by me and i did accept you for who you are <laughs> The fuck? I did accept you for who you are. Like, what the fuck? Okay. This, however, was bound was bound to happen so that... Hold on. This, however, was bound to happen so that what is written in their law may come true. They, hate, they hated me for no reason at all. <laughs> the helper will come, the spirit who reveals the truth about God and who comes from the Father... I will send him to you from the father and he will speak about me and you too will speak about me because you have been with me from the very beginning. Your birthright. You inherited this. You inherited this. What did I tell you? What did he say? He'll send somebody. <laughs> Stop it. Some trust in their war chariots and others in their horses. We trust in the power of the Lord of our God. You can't make that up. You can't make that up. Oh, let me read 1 Corinthians um, 5, 58. That was 15, 58. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. What money? I told you money bag. Y'all said, why money bag? I don't know. She asked God. I don't know. I don't know. I always tell people, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just do what the Lord told me to do. I just do what the Lord told me to do, baby. And this was the resur the resur <laughs> the resur <laughs> the resurrection of Christ. Mm -hmm. And it was the last chapter. It was the last chapter. It says, so then, my dear friends, stand firm and steady. Keep busy always in your work for the Lord. Since you know that nothing you do in the Lord's service is ever use useless. This is the servant part of it, okay? And then we get to the part of John today where he said, you're no longer serving. You're my friend. You're the friend because God is within you now. You've now received the spirit of the Lord. I deleted the stuff, so now got 1212. 12. I deleted the stuff, so now it can... It, I'm telling y'all, the first video cut off, so... Everything in that first video is all about the transformation and you know what I'm saying? How to get through it and how to pay attention and to be open. And I'm telling you, I just told y'all the truth. Intervals of money, your faith, getting your faith together, right? The video cut off. I tried to record again. It was like as if I needed, and I didn't even know if I needed to clear out storage. I just cleared it out just to see if that would work. And it worked. I just followed something to just delete a whole bunch of shit. We're back. Come on. And I told y'all when I used to, that Bible verse was right by the song, I Just Want the Money. And in Pee Wee Longway's song, he was like, can't beat failure, but he, can't, he said, can't beat failure, but a try, but I'm trying to give me some money. Bitch want to fucking lay up all night, but I'm trying to give me some money. I can't wait until I get right. I'm trying to go give me some money. Send a, send a pack, state to state, whatever flavor you like, loans, you sending your money. I just want the money, baby. I just want the money. When I say that's my shit, like, beyond Dolph, about young Dolph, how he kept saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck your big homie, go, you know what I'm saying? Fuck your big homie, go get you a plug. Do y'all know what that mean? Like, fuck the middleman, go find you a plug. See, that's one thing I could peep out. I could peep out the middleman and a lot of shit. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the head. I don't want to talk to you. You're the middleman. No disrespect, but you really can't bring me. You know what I'm saying? You're not really as beneficial, you know? See, I knew I was a big homie, so I didn't want to have to deal with a middleman to get to my money. Or to get to my success. See, I realize that a lot of people, the easy way out is that they allow a middleman to come in between them and what the Lord had in their, in their plan. The devil. The devilish energy cannot trick me out of my abundance. I'm creating projects that are gold. I can flow with life like I should. I put in a lot of work to be able to be in this energy. I don't allow things or people to ruffle my feathers. Life is good. Beautiful things are happening to me. All my debt is clear. My health is amazing. I look just as good as I feel. I'm proud of myself. Watch how you start moving when you start telling yourself how proud you are for every good thing that you did, that you didn't allow the devil to trick you out of your abundance, that you allowed that the fruit, that the, that the, the lead, the branches that was died, that you allowed those to fall. Start saying, I'm proud that I let that fall. I'm proud that I didn't act like that. You know how many times I've had to tell myself, I'm proud of you that you didn't cut up. I'm proud of you that you didn't turn up. Cause baby, when I say I be ready to get in people's ass. 
I'd be ready to cut their ass up with some words. Because, are you crazy? But it's okay. You have a blessed day. May the Lord bless you with the day, the day you deserve. Now that's, then that's from the bottom of my heart. I be meaning that from the bottom of my heart out of love. Because I'm not going to allow that devilish energy to trick me out of my abundance. So if my abundance is the fact of that I can wake up every morning and have a new day, a fresh start, be happy. Abundance is my birthright. Happiness means my birthright. I'm very peaceful. I'm very lo loving. I'm stable. I'm open. I'm free. I'm not going to let no devilish spirit get to it. And this is what this is teaching y'all. Because the devilish spirit is in everything. It's at a job, it's in your household, it's in your environment, it's on your phone, it's what you listen to, it's what you're watching, it's in your children, it's in your family, it's all in there. It's all in there. In John, he said from the very beginning, why do y'all think that there's been a strong like energy towards children? Me and my homegirl was just talking about this the other day about how children are the most purest thing because that's where it starts. They take her innocence. I told you they take her innocence away. That's why children are being targeted because that's the pureness. Elderly is being targeted because that's the wisdom. If, and, I, and I hate that we're having to see physical comparisons to what the mind is trying to show us, what, what, the, what the energy, the, the universe is trying to show us. I really hate that. But if you still look at it from the, the aspect of the people that did it, their innocence was taken and so was their wisdom. That's why they acted in that manner. Yes, that's why they acted in that manner. It's fucking sickening. It's sickening. It's sickening. I can't, I hate it. Thank you. And it's funny that this friend timing thing came up and it's me and my best friend. It's like the cycle. It's funny. And then yesterday, yesterday, the the pattern um, thing says, it says creative exploration. Today the moon is a part of today the moon is in the part of the sky known as Gemini. Love. Oh, is the new moon today? Oh, the new moon is today. This is why this is why we've been talking about manifestations of the words that I've been saying about planting the seeds. Your energy is gonna bring you to stability. It's a frequency. They're trying to get your frequency open to it. That's why you have to understand, like, let's say you don't get cash. You know what I'm saying? God just takes care of a bill. All of a sudden, the bill's paid. Are you going to fuss about that you don't have any cash? Or are you going to be grateful that you had a bill paid? Think about that. I told you, y'all don't think about that until, like, your lights are turned off. I've been to those times. I've been to those times, baby. That's why I said I'm a very, like, like, I don't, that's why I said I don't have to humble myself. I took every every decision that I made financially, I took that shit to the chin. Every mistake I've made, I, I, I took that shit to the chin. And I tried to take the easy way out. I tried to go to the middle man to get the money. And I told y'all, it didn't, it didn't satisfy my needs. I didn't feel, I didn't like it, you know? That selling pussy shit wasn't authentic to me. You know, selling drugs wasn't authentic. It's too much. You know what I'm saying? If, I, if I'm, if I'm going to get into the drugs... I, I'm going to go create me a fucking, my own strand. Okay. Smoking on big homie OG. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I like shit like that. You know, it has to actually have some type of, you know, it, 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 cause it's expansion. It's creative. You know, as I've healed, I found my, my liking in things. I like weed. You know, weed's not a problem. That's why I told you y'all code depend on the drug. If you see weed as a drug, that means that's your addiction. See, weed is, is a supplement. It's an herbal supplement for me. I don't have any problems with that, you know? I'm okay. Everything's good. I don't use it to cope. It actually helps me create, okay? You're coping for problems, you know what I'm saying? Are you, are you coping problems? Or are you creating possibilities, okay? One of the affirmations that I say when I smoke weed, I say I inhale peace and I exhale problems. Inhaling peace gives me a peace of mind to even release that. There's actually not a problem because it puts me back in a present moment state. What's the problem? <laughs> I spark up real fast. What's the problem? 
I remember last year my car had got repo, came upstairs, sparked me a blunt. I remember that um, I had gotten into a car accident just randomly after I had got my car. Got into a car accident randomly months down, came home, sparked me a blunt. You know, I realized that when you when you use when you utilize the things that if you're gonna invest in and, and weed is an investment, that's what I told you, weed is a luxury. It's not it's not a necessity, it's a luxury. If you're gonna if you're gonna be true to this, be true to this, okay? You shouldn't children shouldn't be going without food so you can smoke weed. You're a crackhead. Okay. You know, I put that in my budget. I might not went out, but I had some weed, my bills was right, okay? And when when I started utilizing my weed in the sense of like opening myself up to things and open up my mind and really telling myself as I exhale problems, when I when I when I inhale peace, that peace of mind allowed me to get to the resources and start looking up things to help me because I'm telling y'all, I left the job with no money. <laughs> no money. I was at a mental point where I didn't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I feel like I'm selling my soul. I feel like I'm selling my soul right now. And I know it sounds crazy because it's so minor, but it was, it was, it was, it was getting to my morals and my values because I'm not, I feel like I'm being boxed in. And I feel like the only way that I'm going to be able to not be in a box is if I go into business by myself. But what the fuck am I going to do? Oh, my ears is ringing. <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do? What 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 am I going to do? I remember just crying and crying and crying and crying and crying. I remember just being like, what the fuck am I going to do? Because I'm not asking nobody, bro. Y'all come with too much drama. I don't like that shit. I want to break a bitch character down. Like, I've, I've realized I made mistakes as a young person, but I am, I am doing damn good for my age, bro. Don't do that shit to me, bro. Like I used to hate that shit back then. Like right now, I it's like I right now I'm in the most most like tr tremendous. Like I'm in the most like unstable point, and I just realized like nobody was solid. Nobody was solid, and I don't even feel like they wasn't solid. It, and I, this is where I, I, you got to stop taking things personal and realize that if you get me on a spiritual level, you'll realize that they're not solid because they're not solid within themselves. So it's just like, how can you ask for somebody to help you with stability if they're not solid with themselves? And then it also gets you to understand of who's really doing it out of love. Because they could be hurting too and they still helping you. You know what I'm saying? That's love. Like, that's real love. Like, you know what I'm saying? People could be going through shit and they still look out. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, that's that energy of like, where you don't take advantage of that, you show gratitude towards it. Because I'm not going to lie, like, God really helped me out with a lot where I didn't, people wasn't really, you know, it was like one person, I would say, and, you know, they held it down for me. Like, they held that shit down for me, you know, and then like, my best friend, my best friend held that shit down for me. Like, she still held me down, you know, like... And even even through my dark times, you know what I'm saying, of just like having that, not being so selfish of people. I'm telling you, you're going to have to understand this because it's not about you. You know what I'm saying? They got their own shit going on too. You know what I'm saying? You got yourself in this shit. You need to ask God. Like this is where God is really trying to get y'all to stop being codependent because that's how y'all friendships fall out because people don't be genuine. You know what I'm saying? It's the relationships is what's affecting your stability because it's not authentic to you. So if you worked on yourself or how people see you, that means it's, it's affecting your relationships with this, the seventh house, which is Libra, the balance. And now that we're in the second house and the eighth house, that means that your self-worth, your self-value is a reflection on your rebirth. And, you know, that's how your resources are affected. Money, debt, all that. Y'all not seeing that? That's what's happening right now. That's what's happening right now. Like... You got to depend on yourself. And and I knew at some point it was just like, it was going to get repetitive if I had to keep asking. So I told myself, like, after December, like, I wasn't going to ask somebody for nothing for real, for real. And I didn't. I told myself, because I had got myself in this shit. So it's just like, I, I got to get myself out of shit. 
And I got to learn the importance of the value of what I really wanted. Because if if God was to change my life at that very second, I used to say this, if God was to change my life at this very second, what would I even do with it? What would I even do with it? I would have fucked it up again. So I had to learn because, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing, nothing is getting easier. And not the the way the mind the way the mind is working right now and the way they're trying to play with your mind, the way they're trying to play with your resources, like the poverty level is about to go back up. I'm telling y'all, 08 is about to recycle itself in 2022 in an upgraded version. And I told y'all the pink elephant in the room is just so loud that it's just we don't even know what to do. So you got to get resourceful. This is not a time for you to be, you know, leeching off people. I told you, and T.D. Jakes had um, said this. He was like, you know, you got to, what do he say about that? Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. I'm telling you. And the new moon being right here, it don't, it, come on. Symbolically, the new moon represents a kind of a blank slate and a fresh start for each month. And it's funny that it's on the 30th and then June 1st comes. June is going to be, it's the last month of the second quarter in the mid-year. What are you going to do? I'm also going to do y'all mid-year reports for all y'all zodiac signs. I'm going to do that too this week. Um, it's important to approach these few days with conscious intention because they will influence the rest of the month for you. Because the new moon is in Gemini, the theme of the month is about switching up your surroundings and finding inspiration from different places and sources. What have I been talking about? This is the time to set your intentions to increase your opportunity to learn, absorb, and develop your mind. The girl is cold. Release any beliefs that you already figured everything out that you know. Told you, you don't know, you don't know. Because that kind of mindset prevents expansion. When you're a student of life, you're able to remain open to surprises that can advance your growth. What did I say about the child? At this time, it is helpful to ask yourself the following questions. What do I want to creatively commit to? When is the last time I did something that felt like play? What have I been talking about? Can I tap into my inner child and not judge what I create? The confidence. I don't care how old I am. And I'm talking about glitter and magic and shit like that, bitch. I don't care. That's what I like. I like Disney. I like shit like that. But does that take away from me being a boss ass bitch? Or are you just upset because me and my inner child so locked in that I enjoy that type of shit? That I like to dance around, you know, in public and have a great time. But I can still cut on this boss bitch energy of like, I'm not fucking playing with you. And people know that. I hold myself to very high regard to wherever I go. I don't care. I don't care. And I tell people the truth out of love. I don't care. And I can laugh and I can be very mothering and nurturing and loving and caring. You know what I'm saying? I can do that, you know? And I also don't need to steal the shine of other people's creativity. I want you to shine. I can shine by myself. Trust me. I'm okay. I'm okay. It says, when is the last time I got lost in something out of sheer joy? I told you I'm okay. I'm obsessed with myself because I love myself. I think I'm beautiful. I think my growth is beautiful. I think the thing, the changes that I've made is beautiful. I think the drastic generational curse changes I've made. Like I told you, I threw away my whole closet completely. Donated it. I gave away like 30 bags, 20, 30 bags of it. Everything. There's nothing in there. That, that, that felt like a generational curse thing to me. It felt like a, a a sense of like lack mentality as if I can't get clothes back or something. Like it's re it was this weird thing with me because I learned as an entrepreneur that when you become an entrepreneur, baby, you are responsible for everything. I have to produce everything. I have to produce my stability and security for myself as well as build on the business as well as, 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 well as create revenue. And remember that time I told y'all in that video that when you start speaking to companies about utilization rates, how they start to get real, real, oh, they know what you're talking about then, baby, because you can speak business. I, and I told y'all that God about the contract. See, the Lord is having you go through and clear all these things out so now you can write your contract because he's giving you a clean slate and he's giving you the book and he's saying here, th this is the contract, read through it. And I, I want you to add some things. And the things that I'm telling you are the things you might want to add there so it can help you create wealth. Yeah. I attract I attract friends with a wealthy spirit. I respect my boundaries with friends. 
people of the Lord, friends who live luxurious, friends with ambition, friends with emotions, true emotions, experiencing the friendship day by day. I cherish my true friendships, okay? I pray for friends that pray for me, not on me. Pray for me, not on me. Yeah, P-R-A-Y, not P-R-E-Y, okay? Yeah, honey. I release... I release with love. I am not perfect, but I am a great person. I have people who love me and want to help me. I have people that want me to win. I release past friendships. They no longer define me. The trauma bond we have is buried. I open myself to more soulful, loving friendships. Surround myself with men and women who have God within them. I open myself up to friends who love and truly support me, who become soul families. You can't make that up. Hold on. They want me to get a card from here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sometimes my job is just like, it's crazy. Because it's literally everything that I be saying. And I think that's the part that just always makes me like, just know I'm doing something right, you know? And that's my biggest thing. That's all I always wanted to do is do something right. And I just had to like realize that a lot of things that were attached to me, were, they didn't have nothing to do with me. I don't got nothing to do with that. I don't know. You need to talk to God about that while you act like that. I don't know. <laughs> Clarity, planning, releasing, illusion, healing the heart, power of self-love. I know that's fucking right. Like, I don't know. Why do you act like that? And I've been seeing a lot of, like, hawks and eagles. See, hostile, sacred breath work, life force communication. Ooh. Innovation, new creations. No, that's too many. Wisdom. Life force communication 10, the destiny. Yep. Life force. Life force is a communication with spirit. Healing the heart. All right, let's read clarity and then we're gonna go. Oh, excuse me. This eagle priestess hurls a time of productivity and clarity for you. This card is telling you to sharpen your focus and on your own goals right now. You have the vision. Now make your plan and set it in motion. Think of how the eagle lofty perspective allows it to see far off prey and adjust its action, anticipating changes before they arise. Real plans, not just fantasies, are called for. So get clear about your goals and what will, what will it take to achieve them? This newfound clarity requires you to release any present or past illusions you have been holding on to. There, these may be false assumptions about situations or people in your environment. So be honest with yourself about others' intentions and about your own plans and their potential outcomes. Illusions are sometimes encompass deeper aspects of yourself. Even if you think you know even if you think you no longer carry old hurts or misinformation, you might be subtly influenced by fears and limitations you've unwittingly accepted as truth. The ego calls you to look deeper within the strength and reclaim your inner strength, the light, the solar plexus, the energy, the, 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 the emotions being released. As you do so, and the heart, that clears the passage of the heart. I told you it was like a clearing. As you do so, your true power becomes more clear, directed, and your creativity starts to take shape. The vibrant golden color surrounding golden, I told you, I'm trying to tell you. The vibrant golden color surrounding the eagle signifies greater mental activity and brightness of the mind. Great value is coming to your life. Don't be surprised to find the time. The, don't be surprised to find the time before you're opening up with the new ideas, accuracy, inspiration, and even prosperity. I told you, you even have to thank the Lord that you're, he gave you the clarity to realize that you in some dumb shit. It is time to get clear about who you are, what you want, and how you're going to get there. This card is telling you to plan, prepare, and prosper. 
We got patience and planning yesterday. It's what you want, what you prayed for. The affirmation here says, I release illusion and confusion. I think clearly, focus on my plans and let my life shine. Healing the heart, the hostilities, the conflict, the release. See, this is, this is, this is A, B, C, okay? This is one, two, three, okay? And five cards came out for change, but hear, hear me out. Look, boom, past, present, future, the panther, you see all these animals, the spirit. So the hostilities, the unrest, all this like dark energy or whatever that the panther, I'm telling you, the panther was the prey. I told you, remember I told y'all, it was like, I told y'all Saturn was going, I can't remember what, who, or Uranus, whatever. Uranus was going around and it was kind of like crawling around. And at any given time, somebody made a noise. It just was like, boom, start blowing shit up, it was preying on shit. Okay, and now the divine communication is opening up that connection with source. So now you can create new shit. You can't make that up. It just can't make it up. Music, learning, joy, art, and music. No, learning, joy, art, and music. Learning, happiness, creativity, and music. Connection. That's crazy. Touching earth, planting something new. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And it's the number 12. The law of cause and effect. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's always at work in your life. This card is telling you to bring greater consciousness to the casual seed you are planting. And what do we say about the seed? About 9.33 on the clock. Stop it. And we said the new seed. I know that's right. Okay. What were the what were the what were the questions? What were the questions? What was he, what do we say about the pattern about the new moon being a clean slate of the planting to seeds? You are planting in your energetic field. What did I say that right now, your energy, your energy is going to be like, literally, everything you're going to get is going to be based off your vibration. I told you, you're going to literally put your hand out and it's going to come to you. Stop it. The angel of the rainbow is, is sending a full spectrum of light and color to nourish your highest intentions and help them grow. You can use her assistance to cultivate the destiny you desire. It is time to consider the garden of your dreams and take action that will produce, once again, taking action to the dreams that will produce beautiful blossoms and bountiful harvests. But it's the consciousness. Is there a new project you have yet to begin? An image or an idea just forming in your mind? These seeds of inspiration are blessings from the universe. Download. You are the gardener, the magician. You are the gardener being called to bring them to fruition. Shut the fuck up. And what did I tell y'all about y'all using y'all wand? Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> On a practical level, this card can indicate some new or increasing activity in, your, in the natural world. You may be creating an actual garden for yourself, a place where you can draw on the peaceful energy of the earth. You may even consider opening a flower shop or pursuing a career in a field related to agri agriculture, horticulture, horticulture, I don't know, or the like. You might also find yourself volunteering to clean up the environment, planting seeds, cleaning up the environment, healers, healers, cleaning up the environment, plant trees. See, I told you this was going to be a season about people were going to use their power in good ways. The change of power. This is it. The cause and effect. The cause of healing. The cause of letting God in your life. Now, the effect is the fact of now. Here we go. The cause of what you've done in the darkness. The effect is here we go. Okay. Plant seeds or help our mother earth in some way. Help our mother earth. I told you America is stressed. She is stressed. And I said she. Always remember to plant the seeds of optimism, self-love, and belief in every goal, in every area of your life. For out the energetic garden grows, expanding joy. Expanding joy. Shut up. The affirmation here says, I plant the seeds of my future in every present moment. I nourish my destiny with action and joyous expectations. Faith. All right, I'm done. I love you guys. Have a good day. It's crazy that this had to be a part one and part two. But love you guys. Bye. <laughs>